students so i will continue with the topic heights weighted cyst so last time we studied about how the echinococcus granulosus eggs get uh, ingested into the human through the contaminated food and water and after digesting this it gets into the duodenum where this eggs get hatched and there evolves out the hexacanth embryo that has a hooklets and that penetrates the intestine and from the portal uh, uh, portal system through the or via the portal vein it enters the liver and there it forms the structure the cyst that cyst that thyroid cyst contains the larval stage of the worm and then we seen that how the cyst is formed and there are three layers the innermost layer is the endocyst formed by the larval stage of the hook worm that is echinococcus granulosus and then it secretes inside the fluid that is hydrated fluid and the sand hydrated sand and outside it forms a layer known as ectocyst and the outermost layer is formed by the liver it is in reaction to the echinococcus granulosus it the outermost layer is the fibrous layer and it is thick layer so in exams this question comes as a long question and you have to describe you have to draw the diagram of this hydrated cyst with all the brood capsules and scoliosis inside inside it with the stalk and you have to describe how the daughter cyst are formed how grand daughter cyst are formed now uh, i don't know of uh, what was the reason that lecture got interrupted in between because of the net reason or net issues so i will continue with the treatment before uh, describing the treatment of a hydrated cyst i would like to share and it is very important it could be asked in your practical exams also that what is hydrated thrill hi david thrill so it is a confirmatory sign to get confirmed about this disease it is known as hydrated thrill in this you have to put three fingers or you have to apply three fingers over the region of liver in the right hypochondric uh, region and then percuss by the middle finger and you will get the impulse by this two fingers so after percussing with the middle finger the impulse is felt by the other two fingers that impulse is created by the fluid so that's why this is called hydrated thrill it could be asked it is very important then in treatment if the cyst are less than 5 cm so if cyst are less than 5 cm and if they have got calcified if the cyst are less than 5 cm and if they have got calcified or if they have got bad and the fluid has got absorbed if the cyst get dies and the fluid get absorbed or cyst gets calcified or if the cyst are less than 5 cm then we will go for the conservative treatment this we will leave the condition and we will not interfere think for the medical treatment go for the medical treatment if cyst are disseminated disseminated cyst so if cyst are disseminated 
if they are multiple difficult to operate multiple and deep seated so if they are multiple and deep seated and difficult to operate then and if there is contamination of contamination of peritoneal cavity during the process of surgery or during the operation so we will go for the medical treatment in medical treatment we will give medicine and bendazole albendazole we will keep the patient on albendazole for 6 months so it's a big time and then we will wait for the subsiding of the clinical features uh, generally the patient is asymptomatic he or she could not be aware of this hydrated cells inside the liver but sometimes the dragging pain and the hepatomegaly and other features can indicate the patient then surgical treatment we will go for the surgery if the cyst are more than 5 cm and if cyst are infected in this two conditions we will go for the surgery now in surgery we will do what we will first try to uh, isolate the cyst from the peritoneal cavity so we will isolate from peritoneal cavity by keeping the packs inside the packs are dipped in hypochlorite solution so packs of hypo chloride solution so we will keep the packs of hypochlorite solution between the hydrated cyst and the peritoneal cavity to avoid the further spread of infection into the peritoneal cavity beside this we will do laparotomy then we will do what uh, the as we have seen the pathology how the cyst is formed it has three layers the outer layer is the fibrous tissue layer that is formed by the liver in response to this parasite and this thick layer is adherent to the liver surface so if we will remove it or if we will touch it or if we will try to peel it off then it will result in bleeding because it is adherent to the liver structure so uh, just try to avoid uh try to avoid to remove this adventure layer but sometimes to excise the cyst completely to stop the spread of infection further we have to remove the adventure layer this procedure is known as cysto peri cystectomy cystectomy when whole cyst is removed along with the adventure layer that is the peri cyst formed by the liver the outer layer so removal of the whole cyst excision of the cyst can be done and the other way is that incise the cyst incise the cyst and then peel the laminal layer with sponge holding forceps so incise the cyst the contents will come out or the fluid that will uh, as aspirate that fluid and then peel off the laminal layer we have seen the laminal layer is formed by the endocyst it is an ectocyst which is very elastic and white in color like the shell of egg but not hard like the shell of egg white and elastic in look so it will get peeled off 
so just incise the cysts and peel the laminar layer with white and elastic layer that is the ectocysts ectocysts of the hybrid cyst just peel this layer with the help of sponge holding forceps so here i am showing you it can be asked in exams in practical this is the sponge holding forceps